better known by my online handle Warfront1, on behalf of Elite Scripts. Today I will be walking you through how to create a Windows installation USB on a Mac. This method supports Apple devices running on Apple Silicon such as the M1 M2 processors and it also supports Intel based Macs as well. So we will be using tools that require no terminal interactions that are currently 100% free with no strings attached. For this process you are going to need a USB flash drive that is 8GB or larger. If you don't have a flash drive already, we recommend the Samsung Bar Plus 64GB USB flash drive. It's actually the flash drive we personally test the process with. It's also cheap, fast, and it's highly available for fast shipping. Uh, please use the Amazon link in the description as it helps support the free software. You're also going to need an Apple device running macOS, Catalina, or newer. So almost all Apple devices built after 2011 can be updated to Catalina. So be sure to Mac update your Mac OS prior to trying this process out. All right, let's get started. I've already put the USB stick into my Mac. Yours might be called something different, but you'll typically see it at the top right up here. The first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is open Safari. In Safari, we're gonna to wanna to go to usbzile.com. So I have some general information here, but you're gonna to wanna to go to this tutorial. Uh, on this tutorial is everything we're going to be going through today is also written out here in text if you would prefer to consume the tutorial that way. But let's sort of go through this here. So you're going to have to download three files. The first one's USB Xyle. Let's get that downloading. The second one is CMOS. And the third one is a Windows disk image. So we're going to go to the Windows website here. And we're going to scroll down and you're going to see here they're going to reference a Windows 11 disk image ISO. You're going to want to select uh, that here and you're going to want to click download. Um, and then it's going to ask you what language you want to pick. For this, I'm going to choose English. You could choose whatever one you would like. And then there's going to be one more page here where you just have to click 64-bit download. If you just click that, it'll start that download. Then if you go to your downloads page, you'll see the progress where you're at with downloading everything. Usually the Windows disk image ISO will take the longest. So you just sort of wait for that to complete. All right, now that the contents are fully downloaded, we've downloaded all three files, you're going to want to follow these steps pretty closely or it won't open properly. So what you're going to want to do is right click USB Xyle and click show in Finder. Once you get to Finder, you've really got to do this or it won't open right. You've got to hold the control button down. You've got to right click USB Xyle. This is all while holding the control button down on the keyboard. Click open. When you do that, you'll get this page. Click OK again. While still holding the control button, right click USB Xyle again and click open again. Now you should get the option to click open. Click open and then you can release the control button on the keyboard. Read through the license and terms agreements. Be sure to accept them. Now here's where you really want to configure everything. So you're going to want to select the device which is your flash drive, your flash stick, that you're going to want to format here in order to create your Windows installation media. So I only have one option here, which I've already checked is my USB stick. So I'm gonna leave that as is. For zip file, I'm going to select, and I'm going to select the CMOS ISO contents we downloaded earlier. For the ISO image, I'm going to select the Windows 11 ISO we downloaded from Microsoft previously. Then I'm gonna click Start. You've gotta confirm your settings, make sure you know what you're doing. Just to remind you, when you're doing this to a flash drive, it will wipe all the contents on the flash drive. So be sure anything on that flash drive you've backed up that you needed or you're willing to lose anything on that flash drive. So consider all that and then click yes. And now you just sort of sit back and wait for the process to complete here. Okay, great. Once you see this message, you could disconnect your USB drive from your Mac device and then you could plug it in to your soon to be Windows device. All right, so we've taken the USB flash drive 
out of the Mac and we've placed it into the soon to be Windows device. When we boot up the soon to be Windows device, sometimes it'll boot directly to the flash drive. Other times you might have to change your BIOS boot priority settings in order to make it boot to that flash drive. I'm gonna show you actually how to use a one-time boot menu here on a Gigabyte motherboard. Now remember, some motherboards might work similarly um, and some might be slightly different. So I'm presented here with two options, the boot to flash drive partition one or partition two. I'm gonna select partition two here. So this window here is actually something not everyone will see. This is actually something that people only with secure boot will see. Uh, if you don't know what secure boot is, that's fine. You just know if you see this, you probably have secure boot enabled. You're fine, this is a workaround I've built for you. So basically with this menu, you click OK with enter on your keyboard, and then you click enter again to enroll hash. Now you use the arrow keys on your keyboard and you go down to loader EFI, the third option in this list that I'm seeing here. It might be different on yours, but just look for loader.efi and hit enter. Now it asks you if you want to roll this hash, use the keyboard again to go down to yes and then hit enter. And now click reboot system. Okay, we're once again gonna go back into the boot menu here and we're gonna select partition two again. And this should load up CMOS for you. At this point, you just sort of sit here. CMOS, Creation Media Operating System, will sort of handle the rest of this process for you. It's going to run through various scripts using everything we prepared in previous steps and it will create your Windows installation media for you. All right, once CMOS completes its operations, you'll have a fully functional Windows installation media USB. Now, CMOS will actually restart your computer for you, and if all things go well, your computer should actually boot up directly to the Windows installation media. At that point, you could use the Windows installation media to install Windows on the current device, or you could also use it on another device as well. It's a fully functional Windows installation media USB device you've created. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you, please like, comment, and subscribe so we can continue to release free software.